Hello everyone and welcome to my demonstration. Uh, this is demonstrating how to create photographs or images with that using AI on Canva. Someone had asked about that and yes I checked. Canva does allow you to use certain apps and you get like 25 credits a month um, depending on how many images you create and it's like one credit per picture I think so here we are we're going to go in and size the image which you can make it any size you want I will tell you that the renderings are square so go in you open up the app now this is the fun part you get to be as detailed as you can um, and changing the words around in different places will make a difference so take a gander at what I type I will tell you that these images are in debate as to whether or not they're copyrightable. They can be used in public um, social media posts. You can use them if you have a professional account on Canva for your book covers, but you do have to tweak them a little bit, either changing the shades the size uh, there's various ways you can add you'll be adding your title of course in in your um, author name so that also changes the image it does take a few seconds I'm not sure if you could you may be able to change uh, creating two to one so you only use one credit at a time usually it's two because it the software interprets your your words a different way then you just drag and drop the photographs over onto your design make them bigger um, you can change the wording up and I believe putting commas between your descriptions does make a bit of a difference when it renders um, but like I said this is a, a try as you go kind of thing but each time you render it's going to take a credit away from you whether you use it or not and I believe each one you render saves into your media files so you may not be able to use it now but you might use it later you can manipulate these images by putting them in the background you can add frames and other materials on top of them you can move them around make them bigger smaller whatever okay let's try a different arrangement uh, basically 
the same words, only I'm going to put them in a different order, and that will produce different photographs. Now I've used three or four different AI text to image software packages with various companies and two different ones with Canva. And they all work approximately the same. They are, in theory, they're supposed to be going into public domain photographs all over the web and applying them and the different graphics and filters that are within the database to create these images for you. And like I said uh, in my Saturday show, sometimes the computer does not do hands very well when it comes to AI. So you can't really create, well, you may be able to, depending on your words, a specific type of person and I but it's the hands that they have problems with and then the last warning is you can say create a character that looks like one of your favorite actors but that one you definitely do not want to use in a commercial product such as a book cover you can do it as a meme or something fun, but you should never do it as something that uh, it cannot be copyrighted because of their face. Um, that's part of the reason why the actors were on strike for so long is because the companies want them to submit entire body scans and voice prints and allow the publishing company or the movie moguls, whatever, to gain permanent control over that so that they can submit it to the AIs and the AIs will create products using their voice without their permission and without them receiving royalties. So try to stick to generic as much as possible. And I like to use silhouettes for people uh, because that's more generic. Then, as you can see, you can download these pictures. Uh, PNGs are usually best if you're going to be doing any kind of graphical work.